It must be the, the co-worker. Could it be? It's me, Roxy. I'm here. Oh. How's it going in there? Ah, uh, awesomely, of course. How... Uh, how are you doing? He's... He, he's so smooth. One would never believe that he had ever done anything wrong in his life. Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork, alright. I also brought Rob. I missed Roxy entirely. She was from the... The first stream, right from the beginning, when we found out that Watts had been tampering with Ava's memories. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Okay, I vaguely remember that. I also vaguely remember that. Oh, this episode went over the memory tampering more? Not yet, but I think we're going to find out more about it now. Which is interesting for me, because I haven't played the Minnesodes. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask... About the machine, I think I saw... I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a villain. Oh, wait, what? You know the protocols, Ava. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Ava. Maybe we should have cared. When? were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey. No, that's fine. She'll just do all the work. Wh why? Why is it so ominous? Wh what is... Oh shit, I forgot there were axe! You don't have to leave anymore. Is he gonna go AWOL? It's a distinct possibility, right? So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt? Oh, look, it was the easiest way. Okay, no, he's just making... He's just covering it up. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake, I'm so sorry. Please tell me that was all sarcastic. Yeah, okay. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. And that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Like, just keep making fun of Watts. That's what we're all here for. Anyhow, whoosh. Paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Never rhyme again. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Ava and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Maybe, like, just report it to someone? 
surely there's some sort of procedure in place for gross misconduct in your in your jobs you're in a, a medical industry don't keep it secret and try to like blackmail him until you know all of the details that's just weird hey rob how's the situation looking it's fine i was talking with the medical doctor and can't he just fire what's what should have been fired long ago what's with the murderous atmosphere oh rob you tripping really no i am not in fact tripping again is everything going okay in here is winters going to get murdered or have her memory change something bad is going to happen swimmingly Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Sure, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I do. It is, in fact, my job. Okay, we've we've seen this before. I don't think anything has changed. Yep, pretty sure nothing has changed there. I guess you can just keep... Oh, maybe it has changed. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Okay, no, I just got a note. I wonder if I can head up here. It's a video game. I have to make sure... Oh! Hey! I knew it. You're out early? Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. Look, all I've learned from murder mysteries is that if you tell someone you don't know what they're up to but you're going to find out, you end up dead. Yeah, you find out the extremely direct way. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Yes, absolutely. Why would I ever not? We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Oh, Sophia! That's so kind of you to assume that Watts is professional in any capacity. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Like, way to phrase it in the most, like, uh, ominous way possible, Watts. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Oh, Hippa, what's that? It's true. Like, you're part of the medical industry, my dudes! Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Like, that, that, that's fair. Like, her husband is dying. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it'd even change my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this. No. I was actually gonna ask you about it. That's some mature shit. Like, Sophia, for most well-balanced character in the game. Don't take this away from me, Finding Paradise. Let Sophia be great. 
He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. Oh, he, he's definitely turned all of the pages into paper planes at some point, and it's going to be some emotional shit. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. She's so well balanced! Man, that music was a shock. After that incredibly emotional scene. Anything new out on the balcony? Sadly, no. I'd ask why they even put that balcony there, but I know it's for people like me who will always, always go out onto the balcony just to check. As if whatever does his job. Snap. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. She's not going to hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Okay. Asha, you got anything to say? Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Oh, well, sure, I guess I am paid to interact with the family. Alright, come on. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Uh, uh, that, <laughs> you can't use ethics as a convenient excuse to get out of conversations you don't want to have when you previously were just like, mm, you know what? Fuck ethics. What? Literally the worst. Yes, but you must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Keep confidentiality or reveal info about Colin. You know what? Reveal info about Colin is probably like a better gameplay choice if you want that drama TM. But we're going to keep confidentiality. I don't think any of this is relevant to his son at all. And, you know what, you're just going to have to come to terms with your parents being mortal like the rest of us. Okay? Okay. Look, as much as I want to spill the beans for you, my hands are tied. Company policies and whatnot. Yeah, I understand. Hey, if it helps. He really did ask for you and your mother to stay as a part of his new life. But I can only tell you that much. I hope it still means something. Thanks, Doc. Sorry, Asha, we are just such a professional. It's just, we could not violate our oaths. Maybe I should check in with Ava first? Like, I did though? 
I, I hit spacebar. Not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Yep. Okay, is, is there another machine? Okay. I just had to press space on it from a different angle. Honestly, I don't think that's very comforting. I mean, I don't think Watts in general is super comforting. I guess I'll view connection status. External neuro connections at one, operator profiles, Dr. Eva Rosaline. It's yellow, I wonder if I can like... No, I can't click on it. Uh, establish communication. Hey, Ava, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? I'm just trying to find the lost memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Um, what the fuck was that? Did somebody die? Damn it. Where are my pills? What? Okay, clearly I've missed a lot by not playing the mini-sode. Z? Is there more than one? I think there's more than one. Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Okay. If you need pills to stop you from experiencing that sort of pain, why would you ever not have them on your person, Watts? Hey, are you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Now, uh, Watts has a pain thing from To The Moon? Oh wow, I do not remember that at all. Oh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Oh, you say that now, my pal. It was right at the end. Okay, but like, that is the most believable thing once it's done. Okay, I do have some sympathy as someone who is extremely bad at remembering my own pills, but like, what's, come on man, get it together. Like, you've been working- No, I don't care about these children. Also, you've been working with Ava for years. Can't you just say, Oh, I forgot some pills in the car. I'll be back in just a second. Keep looking for that memory, Ava. But, no, apparently not. Hey, mister. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatize like it. Wow! What the fuck? Lady! She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. What? Is, is there no other path that you could have gone down? Is there no other situation available to you? Like, could you have not talked to this kid's parents? Like, there, there is a range of interventions here before traumatizing a child. Like, yikes. Yikes. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You named your other kid Potato too. Or maybe not name your kid Potato. Like, she does not have good judgement. She, she just doesn't. Of course not, don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Ha, 
Ha ha ha. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin? You know Colin? Yeah, he wants literally beat up Amber for me. Um? Why is everyone in this world so bad at children? Like, what the fuck? Um, what? Okay. Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Still not okay! Better than literally, but that's a low bar to clear. Oh, oh. Um. But whatever. So, anyway, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? Oh, of course, invisible ink. To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could just borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. Okay. Can we go look at the book now? So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. Oh, for the book, which we got way back in the first episode? Like, surely one of them has a black light of some sort. That seems like a useful thing to have in a kit. You could probably keep it. Howie, thanks. I'm gonna write a letter to myself. Wow, robbing the estate already, Watts. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Oh, all right. Are you well? Are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! It's a jar of lemon juice, it's not a jar of precious gems, but that lemon juice belongs to the estate, Emily. Is everything going okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? Oh shit, did she die in that last flight? Because it wasn't on the books. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Ah. Come on, man. The pills first. Just jog briskly to the car. Let's go. Hello? Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yup, yup. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure, mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Hi, Ash. Hi, Rag. Welcome. You'd think Colin would have just said that was his regret. Maybe, but maybe he regrets it so deeply that he could only express it through stoicism. Okay, I don't know. Uh, okie dokie lokie pokey. Okay, that, that's really annoying. Pocky isn't- ugh. That's so annoying. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Can I just go get the pills now? I'm so annoyed. I remembered what my objective was. Also, why don't we just use that computer once we come back in from the car that is literally like five seconds walk away. I'm just saying. 
Did those flowers get bigger? Hey, Ava, I'm still working on the... Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me... Listen, I don't think she... Ava? Something is going horribly wrong. Uh, you still there? Weird. My comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. So yes, like, stop dawdling and go get your dang pills. Goodbye, burbs. I'm sorry I scared you. Oh, I don't remember which one their car is. Wait a minute. Huh, it's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. This fog is very ominous and also the person on the motorbike has to be Faye somehow, right? Oh my god. This phone is ringing too much. Ava, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly party. Why are we playing as dull guy? We don't have a choice. Wait, maybe we do have a choice. You can switch characters in this game, I forgot. Oh shit, okay. Getting through this combo and then seeing if I can switch to Ava. Oh. Oh, so how's the record search going? What, what, what was that? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it despent the English. English is English is fine. Got it. Because he's making Ava do all the work. That's the actual answer. It depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well. So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? You can't be Ava for a while? Okay. A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. She's a ghost. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence. Anywhere. Spooky! Spooky music! We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases even... Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death. Not even birth. Oh. Oh. So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Really, is now the time to be taking that? Like, this seems fairly important. I kind of want to punch Dr. Winters for her revel speed. Did go well with the extremely dramatic music, though. Oh shit, now Watts is breaking into the jog. Act 3? Oh man, it's getting so hecked up! Wow! I'm into this. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, I got a hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. Huh, we're all used to it by now. 
Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. Also, that was the shortest act two ever. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather... peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Please let me choose or not. Oh, we can't choose. Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... 